Hey everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at a truck in the showroom right here, it's right behind me. It's one of the longest builds that I've ever had to be a part of as far as aftermarket uh, projects. Uh, this has been one that kind of tops it off. Uh, pretty well the entire catalog from Shift Products is on this truck. A big thank you to all the people that helped out with this build. Uh, the guys over at House of Chrome, our shop here, Inline Kenworth, and uh, Shift Products, of course, among others. So uh, let's uh, see what we're looking at today and let's get into it. All right, all right. So here's the thing. I love taking these major, <clears throat> hang on. Got this TV in the background here. <clears throat> Mute. I love taking these types of trucks to special locations uh, so that I can do a little bit more cinematic uh, video, maybe get some nice scenery behind it. Uh, it. It really, I think, makes the truck pop when you do that. But the problem is, when this truck finally got completed here in the last couple of days, the weather started turning. So we had a huge amount of melt yesterday. And then this morning, I was gonna take it out when it was still cold, but it started snowing. So this truck got snowed on and I didn't wanna take it down the highway where it was gonna get all covered in muck and slop because it's getting picked up tomorrow and I wanted to look as clean as possible. Uh, so here it is in the showroom, uh, not my favorite place to do a video, but uh, it's going to be where it is. So let's check this, check this out. So this is a 2024. No, this one's a 2023. This one was built before January. So yeah, it's a 2023 model year. Uh, W900 long hood. It is the flat glass model with a 42 inch modular bunk. So you can see the flat glass configuration there. And then here is that 42 inch modular sleeper on it. So I ordered this truck with a custom paint design, uh, working with my customer, Mike Jessop. And Mike, thank you so much for putting your trust in me to build this truck. Uh, looking forward to meeting you for the first time in person tomorrow. And uh, yeah, this has uh, been a real pleasure to be able to build this truck for you. So it's sitting on a 250 inch wheelbase on this truck here. So you got a nice little slab of frame down the middle here. And you'll notice in the sunlight, it's a little bit, little bit dusty. There is a really nice metal flake. It is an emerald green metal flake in the paint. And that is on the frame. It's on the frame mount brackets, had all these painted. It is on these custom fenders that were installed by House of Chrome. And it is on the cab as well. So you can see that beautiful metal flake in there. And then we also did this uh, dark forest green paint design in here. So this is kind of a take on the moving on paint scheme, but with the uh, the arrows just kind of being stretched out across the whole cab. So uh, really pleased with how that turned out. And then I also did a custom 
design over the fenders here. So we have a, a triple line here, nice little swoop on the front and same thing, a little swoop on the back and uh, the triple line kind of down the side just to kind of make it pop. Um, something else I really like to see is when the truck is built, all of the, you'll see all the, uh, the nut heads are all, the bolt heads, sorry, are all facing the same direction. Looks really sharp, minty, minty, minty. Um, front of this truck here, we have a custom bumper. This is a Shift Products bumper on the front. Uh, a single slab, so this is like a 20 inch with a 45 end caps. And then we have the watermelons in the corner. Did not do anything on the underglow side, which is fine, but it is uh, something that could be added after the fact if a person wanted to. We have the JW speaker heated headlights with the black, black background, so you can get uh, it either with a chrome or a black, and we opted for the black. And then as far as the factory options, we have the seven grill bars across the front of this truck with a built-in winter, a built-in uh, bug screen right there. And then there's that nice Kenworth bug. Big thank you to Rob at Big Truck Detail for giving this truck his, his beautiful shine. Just looking really, really good. Uh, up above here, you can see that visor. I'll just get the camera a little bit closer to it so you can see it. So that is a 12 gauge visor. So that is nice and slammed up to the windshield, reverse bow tie. And then up, up above we have the watermelon lights on the billets there. So that's always a really sharp look. So we had to do some custom work with the cab skirts on this truck here. So you'll notice here we have the larger cab skirt because everything fits under there nicely. Uh, we wanted to make sure we had room to put the uh, have the fuel fillers accessible and with a larger like two and a quarter inch uh, cab skirt on there it wouldn't really make it easy to fill so we we had these custom designed by shift these are a one inch and uh, there's no lights in them we just kept it nice and clean nice and simple and they wrap around the front and wrap around the back and uh, just a really nice nice design i'll show you the other side here in a minute uh, so as far as the back of the cab here, I had extra lights cut in. So we have the five lights across the back. Uh, those are the, the watermelons from Shift Products. And uh, those are nicely uh, spaced. And we had the factory lights kind of installed here and there. And then we just followed the rest all the way across. On the back of this, <coughs> we have the stainless steel deck plate with the airline box. So this is a full... Uh, coverage deck plate kind of goes right to the fifth wheel and then all the way to the bunk and then we have all the airline hookups uh, right at the back here. So as far as uh, the suspension on here we have the AG460 suspension so this is the Kenworth 8 bag air ride in the 46,000 pound rating. Uh, we have the Mag uh, Magnaforce rims with the machine polish so you've got a nice high polish on that looks really sharp literally i just brought this truck in you can kind of see uh all the slop from just driving it through our parking lot um it just it, it's really hard to keep trucks clean here in this type of weather some days i wish i lived in phoenix <laughs> anyhow as far as the back end we have the forty-six thousand pound dana spicer rear end so these are the d46 172s and uh, it has full four-way locking differentials with the 391 gear ratio. We put uh, drum brakes on the back here, and I believe we have disc brakes on the front. We'll find out, double check in a second. And uh, these are the fiberglass fenders that uh, House of Chrome was able to install. Blind mount, so a really nice smooth look to them. And those were painted uh, by Eastside collision here in the city and Eastside did a great job. They did the fuel tanks all painted black. The def tank is painted black. All the brackets, all the fenders, uh, the window chops that are up above here as well were done all in black. And I'll get to a few other things that were done. So uh, we have the bunk doors in both sides without the windows. So we have the nice chrome uh, covers on the, uh, the vents there. So if you order those in the, the unpainted, uh, they obviously would match the, the color of the cab, but we wanted to splash a little bit of chrome on this truck just to make it pop. Uh, so here's the additional one inch under cab, uh, under bunk skirt. 
And then this side here was a uh, additional one that was uh, installed. Now we had to get a piece custom made for this to fit. So when you do a flat glass build, uh, this panel here is actually about an inch shorter. It's not as long. So when a person would put on a cab skirt underneath this flat glass design, uh, you have to make sure that it will fit onto either the factory shorter version, or in this case, we had this panel custom made and then painted by east side. And then we had this one put underneath just to kind of match with the other side. So it looks really, really sharp. Uh, Rob did a, Rob at Big Truck Detail, you can check him out on Instagram. He did a beautiful job of shining up this truck. Just look at how shiny those steps are. As far as the air cleaners, those are the 15 inch air cleaners with a prefer air prefer fit element on the top. We got the bolts on the inside. So you just give this top top hat a little push down and twist and she'll pop off for you really nice. So we kept it really old school, didn't put the elephant ears on it and we didn't even do any of the lights on the air cleaners, but it does have room to put those on after the fact if a person did want to do that. Order this truck without any of the stainless down below here. So we have a nice clean line of stainless running underneath there and then all just paint down there. So that's all painted. And then we have the beautiful Kenworth emblem right in there. So before we open up the hood here, I'll just show you a few other little things. Uh, we have these uh, famous shift products turn signals. So those are always good. And these are the clear standard LEDs. So you can get the bulbs. Uh, these are from United Pacific. Uh, you can get them with a glow bulb, you can get it with a beehive design uh, or a standard LED or in some cases a guy, the guys might want a glass bulb so you can do that too. Uh, as far as the moons and nut covers, I didn't show them on the back there but I went ahead with the full coverage plates. So those ones cover the entire rim so there's nothing kind of exposed. They'll screw on to the factory nuts and then on the back here we have the top hat style, which cover up the whole hub and then uh, those screw on as well. So that's a really nice, really nice touch. So let's uh, take this tour under the hood and I'll show you what's going on under there. All right, so underneath the hood here, we have the biggest engine that we can get. Uh, this is the 605 2050 torque rated Cummins. It is the productivity series. Uh, you can tell by the gray badge there. And uh, this is the workhorse of the Cummins product line. So we sell a few of these here, probably five, more 565s, but if a guy wants the biggest power, this is the way to go. Uh, we have the Davco 382 fuel water separator right there. We have the remote boosting terminals, the remote lube terminal as well. And then on the W9L, you can get the hood hinge reinforcement right here. So that's uh, just to reinforce the fenders so that over time that will hold the fender in place. It will prevent the hood from shaking and then you get cracking and starring in the paint kind of along there. And then the headlights will be less likely to wobble while you're going down the highway. So it holds a, a little bit better light. So you can kind of see the difference in the color between the black on the rad and then the frame here. So you can kind of see that hint of green, which I really like. It's just really subtle. And when, on a cloudy day, you can't even tell that this is a two-tone color truck uh, with this paint design. It just kind of fits in really, really subtly. And I really like how, how it turned out, but the sunshine does make it pop. I am hoping that tomorrow I'll be able to pull this truck outside and that the sun will still be shining and that we can uh, get a few extra pictures and maybe even some video before the truck goes down the highway. So uh, let's go around the other side and I'll show you what's on that side. So over here, we have the hot side. We got your turbo, we got all your accessories right in there. Uh, we did do a front axle drop on here. We knocked out some shackles. We changed the uh, U-bolts, but we did not change the rear, um, the rear kingpin on the back here. And the reason for it is if we lowered that down, it would bottom out over there. So uh, just based on how this cab and this front axle is set up with the 14.6 wide track front axle, uh, it is not really recommended to change those shackles. So, but we did drop the shackles 
down, did our three axle alignment like we always do. So this truck will just be straight as an arrow down the center. And there are the disc brakes on the front end, you can see that. Uh, this truck also, something a little bit different, we have the dual power steering gears on it. So uh, just forgot to mention that, but there is the dual power steering. There is your air dryer, the, the uh, wet tank, and then your filter. So let's uh, close up the hood here and uh, we'll show you the customizations that we did on the inside because it doesn't, didn't stop just on the outside here. All right, so here we are inside the cab. And uh, like I said, the customizations did not stop on the inside of this truck. So uh, let's just go over it here and I'll show you what we're looking at. So basically we have a custom display. Uh, we did the full gauge package. So uh, we had to option up for an additional uh, 10 gauges over the standard gauges. And then we did the full switch package too. So we got lots of switches on there. There's your full diff locks, your air suspension dump, your cruise control, Jake brake, hazards, air slide, spare switch, traction control, PTO switch, and your DPF regen switch. We have a standard rubber wheel, which leaves room for uh, changing after the fact to a custom wheel, which is uh, likely going to happen. And you'll notice we have the black uh, Splendor interior as far, as far as the trim goes. But we did that because we wanted to do a change out to the Seattle package inside here. So we do have the black Diamond VIT Seattle package that was installed here. So that's another thing that I had to arrange. Big thank you to Travis for helping out on that. And uh, we have the paneling on the A-pillar. We have it on the door. We have the steering column wrapped. I love how this is with the X's on there. That's really cool. We have the boot over the shifter. We have the paneling over the cup holder there and there. We have the HVAC box. We have the uh, glove box. Sorry, lost for words for a second. And we also did up where the visors go. So we did the full package on this here and we have the back panels all done in the Seattle package as well. So you'll notice here, these seats are sitting kind of low and these are also, also customized. So we uh, got these switched out here and I had to actually get involved in helping mount them into the cab because the mounting hardware that these come with don't match up and don't line up to the factory uh, holes that are in the floor. So uh, I had to get creative with our technician in the back and uh, give a hand in helping to design how to get this to to mount to the cab and everything is uh, is mounted operational so these are the pro ride ultra low th low back seats so uh, actually a funny story the trucks were uh, when i was bringing this over back and forth to various shops uh, it would when we after we installed these seats the air wouldn't hold for some reason. I guess there was a, a line that wasn't quite pressed in all the way. So I had to get our guys to look at it again, but I was uh, losing air and driving. And before long, I was sitting on the floor and these seats, <laughs> you're like right down to the floor. My butt is like six inches off the floor in this thing. Can't even see over the steering wheel. This is, this is my this is my eyesight, that's all I can see. So I'm just like, I can't even look over the steering. The <laughs> so anyways, just a funny story there. All right, so that's a little bit about the cab and these uh, Bostrom Pro Ride seats. Uh, very soft leather, really nice. And I do have some floor mats coming here. They're, uh, I guess it's something that we haven't really got in yet, but uh, they're gonna be here for tomorrow, but I'm getting the carpet from Shift with the green stitching in it. Uh, so it uh, kind of flows with the outside of the cab as well. So really beautifully done truck. I just love it. So let's just take a quick look into the bunk here. I'm not gonna really crawl back there too far, but as far as what we got in the back here, I'll just turn this little light on. So up above, oh, there's plastic. I just saw it. I think the last one that came in, I got to do this too. I love this. This is my favorite part. I am, I am going in the back here, taking my shoes off. So 
this is what I was all excited about. We got this protective plastic over the inside. Just such a satisfying feeling. Just look at that. I wonder if I can get it off in one shot. Whoa. Oh, ripped. Dang it. Oh, it's still nice and clean. Look at that. So I'll get the rest of that off here in a second. But what you can see, we've got nice little storage inside here. So it's just, it's not really big, but it's big enough. And then we have this old school fan. I absolutely love these. Those are like the coolest things ever. I just got to say, they are so cool. Uh, we have a back wall uh, on here. Oh yeah, those are the, uh, the takeout uh, visors from the front there. We have a back window and you'll notice we have the Splendor back here. And that's because we ordered this truck in Splendor cab and, and bunk. And then we changed out the cab uh, after the fact, but the, the bunk, uh, it does have the Splendor, which is how it was done way back in the day. Uh, so it's, it's just kind of a really cool throwback to the original setup. So uh, on this side here, we have the power outlet. We have a little light back here and another one here, a little switch for light there. And then we have your HVAC and your speakers there if you want to get the tunes going. So really nice uh really nice bunk uh, not very big but uh if you're going for the old school look this is this is the way to do it <coughs> just try and get the rest of this off here pull up my handy dandy knife i always carry a knife on me just unless I'm flying and they don't let you for some reason. Sometimes I gotta do the work myself and that's, uh, that's the way she goes. Oh yeah, and then uh, as far as what we got here, when I sell a new truck, uh, I like to shower my customers with some gifts. So I get these custom leather jackets made, very beautiful uh, inland on the, on the chest, and then I get the Kenworth bug on the back of the neck, and it's just such a nice soft leather. And then a couple nice custom caps, and then uh, these are caps that I, I create, I design, I got the black on black, which I really like. And because uh, I'm from Canada here, I love to throw a maple leaf on there. So it's just kind of a, a neat setup. So yeah, I just like to present the uh, jacket and the hat inside the bunk here. So when the customer comes in and Mike sees his truck for the first time, he'll see his nice gifts in the bunk back there. All right, so that's it for this week's video. Thanks so much for coming by. Uh, again, a big thank you to Mike for purchasing this truck. I know it's been a long uh, wait to get it, but I'm sure you're gonna be very happy with the finished results. And I can't wait to uh, see you uh, tomorrow, pick you up at the airport and uh, bring you to your new whip. So uh, uh, thanks again for purchasing this truck. Hey, if you are new to this channel and you like what you see, uh, give this video uh, a subscribe and you can give it a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, also, you can go to my website up here. You can check out thekenworthguy.com. All my social media information is up on there for your pleasure. So uh, thanks so much for watching and we will see you on the next video.